Welcome to the lesson calculus. The equation of a, of a curve is given by y is equals to 2x cubed minus 9 over 2x squared minus 15 plus 3. Question A, find 1, the value of y when x is equals to 2. Now 2, the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 2. And 3, determine the turning point of the curve. So those are the three questions that we need to do. Let's go to the first one. Now we're given the equation of the curve, museum. So the first one is uh, quite easy. We find the value of y when x is equals to 2. So for that one, we just need to substitute this x value in the function. So y is equals to 2. Where we have x, you can replace that only 2. So this would be 2 cubed subtract 9 over 2 this is uh, 2 squared minus 15 is 2 plus 3 so to work out this one you just need to use a calculator to get the value of y so 2 2 cubed subtract 9 over 2 2 squared minus 15 2 plus 3 this will give the value of y as negative 29 so that is how you're supposed to work out the first part. Now let's go to the second part. The equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 2. The equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 2. So I'll begin by sketching and assume that this is the curve and then I'll assume that this is the tangent. The tangent is the line, straight line that touches the curve at one point and um, assume that it touches the curve. This is the point uh, x is equals to 2. So this is the point, x is equals to 2. Uh, so that is the tangent, which we need to get the equation. Now, for us to get the equation of these, um, so to get the equation of the tangent, we need to have at least one point. Uh, one point is already here, because we have already obtained. When x is 2, this point is uh, known. Uh, this one, we shall get it uh, very well. And so this point will be, and the value of x is 2, y is negative 29. We already obtained that one from the first part of the question. So when x is equal to 2, y is negative 29. So we have one point on that line, which is the tangent. This one is the tangent, and this is the curve. So to get the equation of that tangent, we need the gradient of the tangent. When you have the gradient in this point, we'll be able to get the equation. How do you get the gradient? We shall use the function of this curve. So when you get the gradient function, that would help us to get the gradient at this point. So first, you're going to get the gradient of the curve at this point, which will also be the gradient of the tangent at that point, x is equal to 2. I repeat this, that the gradient of this curve at x is equals to 2 will also be the gradient of the tangent at x is equals to 2. So I need to get the gradient function of the curve. The gradient function of the curve will be obtained by differentiating the, this equation. You can see the one that is here. So y is equals to 2x cubed. So we differentiate that, you get a 6x squared. And then... Um, 9 over 2x squared, this will give uh, 9x. Then you differentiate, uh, we are differentiating with respect to x, this will be negative 15. So when you differentiate that function, the, the equation of that function, you get um, 6x squared, subtract 9x, subtract 15. That is a gradient function. So when you want to get the gradient now of this curve at this point, x is equals to 2, we shall just substitute x is equals to 2. In this gradient function, this will give 6, this will be 2 squared, 9, 2, subtract 15. And uh, using a calculator again, this one will give, this will give, this will give um, negative 9, this will give negative 9. So now we have the gradient of the curve at this point x is equals to 2 is equals to negative 9, which is also the gradient of the tangent, because you can see the curve and the tangent are sharing a common point, which is 2, negative 29. 
Now we have the gradient as uh, negative 9. And we have one point, which is uh, 2, negative 29. So for us to get uh, the equation of the tangent now, we just use the knowledge of finding the equation of a line uh, when you're given a one point and the gradient. There are so many ways. You can use the equation of y is equal to mx plus c. Or you can just introduce another point, general point, x, y. And um, using these two points, 2, negative 29, and x, y, you can calculate the gradient, which is a change in y. y subtract negative 29 would be y plus 29 divided by change in x, which is x subtract 2, which will give uh, the gradient. Uh, for this one, you just need to cross multiply. And this will give, um, now you get y plus 29 is equals 2. Mm, this one will give um, negative 9 x subtract 2. This will give y plus 29 is equals to negative 9x plus 18. Negative 9x plus 18. Therefore, y is equals to negative 9x. And when you take positive 29 to the other side, it will be negative 11. So that is how you get uh, the equation of the tangent by simply getting the gradient function which has given us the gradient of this uh, tangent at x is equals to 2 then we proceed and get the equation now the last one is determining the turning points of the curve now to determine the turning points of the curve this is something that you need to know which is very important and that is that at turning point at turning points of the curve the gradient is zero the turning point of the curve when you get the gradient function uh you have to equate that onto zero a turning point the gradient is zero so we need to get the gradient and since we had already obtained it it is here now here the function is here so this one is um 6x squared so 6x squared that is a gradient function we already obtained it subtract 9x minus 15 Subtract 9x minus 15. That one should give 0. Now when you solve these, we shall get the value of x at which the turning points, at which will give the turning points of the curve. The value of x at the turning points of the curve. That is what you're going to get when you solve this quadratic equation. We can start by simplifying these and divide all through by 3. And you divide all through by 3. This one will give uh, 3x squared. Minus um, not three, but this will give um this will give two x squared minus um three x minus five is equals to zero. So you can use any suitable method to solve this. Use a product and some look for two numbers whose product is um negative ten and some is um negative three. Uh, so this will be negative 5 and 2, negative 5 and 2. So using factorization, 2x squared. I can start with the 2x plus 2 plus 2x, negative 5x, and minus 5 is equals to 0. So factorizing this, you get a 2x is common, x plus 2, then uh, negative 5 is common, mm, this is 1, not 2, this will be 1, this will be 1, then 5, negative 5 is common, x plus 1 is equals to 0. So this one will give 2x subtract 5, then x plus 1 is equals to 0. Now this point, um, it means that x 2x minus 5 is equals to 0. When you work out that, you get um, x is 5 over 2, or 2.5. And the other one is uh, when x plus 1 is 0, uh, this one will give uh, x is negative 1. So you have these two values of x. 
and this is what is going to help us to get the turning point. These are the x coordinates at the turning point of the curve. Now we need to get the corresponding y values in order to get the point. Remember the point, the turning point should be given in form of x and y coordinate. So we have the x coordinate, so we need to get the y. So how do we get y? We shall use this function. The function, don't forget, is uh, y. The function is here. y is equals to 2x cubed. This is a 2. So since we have the value of x, the values of x, the turning points, the <clears throat> first one is um, 2.5. The other one is uh, negative 1. So when x is equals to 2.5, what will be y? So you just substitute y is equals to 2, this is 2.5 cubed minus 9 over 2, 2.5 squared minus 15, 2.5 plus 3. So y therefore will be, use a calculator to work out this, to... Mm, this one. So this one will give um, negative 31.375. So therefore, the first turning point will be when x is uh, 2.5, uh, y will be negative 31.375. So that is the first turning point. Now the next uh, turning point will be uh, when x is equals to negative 1. So when x is equals to negative 1, what will be the value of y? Just substitute. So 2, this will be cubed. And then uh, minus 9 over 2. And then you have a negative 15. And then you have plus 3. So when you work out this, using a calculator again, and this one will give um, is equals to 11.5. So 11.5. So y will be 11.5. So when x is negative 1, y is um, 11.5. So therefore the other turning point is negative 1, 11.5. So those are the two turning points. Uh, negative 1, 11.5. The other one is 2.5. Negative that one, 0.375. And that is how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.